scattered with him, if you don't gather with him, you're going to be scattered abroad. And that's what happened to our people. We did not stick with our power, so he scattered us abroad. But now he's bringing back his, his, his foe, the elect, to him. While the rest of you is going to be wandering sheep, led here for the slaughter when the time comes. Son. Joel 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. He's the Lord of what? Of everybody, Ah, right? No. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. In the midst of no to all the nations, Ah. Because so, you see, you know, in the church they say that he's the God of all people, Ah. Come. Are you sure? Come. I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Answer that, Baloo. How in the hell is Cornelius going to be an, an Edomite and still be the God be of the power? That don't make no sense. He's the God of Israel and none else. That's right. Go ahead and bring that out, Art. <clears throat> this is... <clears throat> All right, Deuteronomy. 30 and 1. And it shall come to pass, when all these things are, are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse, which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, uh, whether the Lord thy power had driven thee. Have what? Whether the Lord thy power had driven thee. Mm -hmm. That's right. <clears throat> and shall return unto the Lord thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Which is what we're doing right now. All right? What was one of the commands he told us? Do Yahweh shot. He told us to come out in the highways and byways to gather this people. All right? By the foolishness of preaching, we're going to save those that believe. Okay? We're going to save the, the Israelites. This law was given to, to Israel. This He's talking about to the 12 tribes of Israel right here. Keep going down. Thou and thy children will all thine heart and with all thy soul. That then, when the Lord thy power will return, will turn thy captivity, and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations. From all the nations, right? Come. So that means we had to be amongst the nations, right? Come. I mean, it's plain and simple. If he was gonna, if this is what, if this is a future prophecy. Moses was given, it was telling the twelve tribes this before they even inherited the land. That this is what was going to happen to them. They was going to be scattered into all nations. Yeah. He said the blessings and the curse. Then the blessing and the curse going back to Deuteronomy, the uh, 15, the uh, 28 chapter, yeah. from 15 on down. Uh, That's plain and simple in the book. How come you can't get that? How come some of y'all can't get that? Because the Most High, again, is blinded, y'all. Okay? There's, a, there's, there's a, a great blindness that's going on in here, especially here in Babylon. Keep going down. Whether the Lord thy power has scattered thee, if any of thy be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. Hey, so the Most High is going to get everybody. And if a Jake is scattered amongst some Eskimos, he's going to get them. Okay? It don't matter where he's at. The Most High set this up to show you his power. Alright? We got Jake scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. When he says that, he means that literally. We got Jake's that's among the Eskimos making igloos. We got our people all the way out over there. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And the Lord thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess. And thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good, and multiply thee above yeah. thy fathers. Yeah. And the Lord thy power will circumcise thine heart. What's that? Oh, okay. The most he's going to circumcise our heart. All right, that sounds to me like something that was uh, prophesied to happen. In fact, you can hold that. Well, uh, go ahead and give me uh, Hebrews 8 and 8. You know? Say it again. What's he going to do when we get back in the land? What, what's he going to do? Uh, and the Lord thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed mm -hmm. to love the Lord most high. Well, the, the Lord thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. Exactly, that we may as live, that we may as live 
a full life uh, uh, according to Deuteronomy 28 and 1. All right, the blessings by us keeping the law, we're going to have life. All right, he's going to circumcise the heart. That's talking about the new covenant. The new covenant was written in here. Zion Lex, you stupid nigga. This is the talk about the new covenant, the circumcision of our hearts. Go ahead and give me that in Hebrews 8 and 8. Come on, this is Hebrews 8, verse 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said Yahweh, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. You're right there. And this is what the, the covenant, the first covenant was what we were just talking about. But Moses prophesied about the covenant that was to come, which was what the brothers going to continue reading now and on. Keep going. Come. Because they continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said Yahweh. Hey, so we continue not in the covenant. So what happened when we didn't regard the covenant? The Most High did what we were talking about. He scattered us throughout the four corners of the earth for breaking this covenant, which was prophesied to happen. Keep going. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said Yahweh. I will put my laws into their minds and write them in their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Salaki. And they shall be to me a people, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me. From the least to the greatest. But uh, see, uh, all people, or is it talking about just Israel, Judah, and Israel? Who is it talking about? Uh, it's talking about Judah and Israel. It says it in there in the beginning. For this covenant, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After the, after those days, says the Lord. Yep. So again, all you heathen that's in your churches, y'all think the new covenant for you? The scriptures just told you that it's for only for Israel. It ain't for you. Y'all talking about y'all under the new covenant. We're not even under the new covenant. Because the new covenant requires that our, heart, that our hearts are circumcised, all our children. We don't got to teach them. Right. right. Why, why are we out in here in the highways and byways? Because the new covenant ain't came yet. Oh. Uh. Why, we gotta, why do we got to go and learn? And learn? Why do the, uh, uh, the apostles and elders got to teach, teach us? Why they got to learn and teach each other? Why do we got to still go into, into and learn, learn these scriptures and continue to re renew in ourselves, renew in our inner man through faith in this word? Because we're still under the old covenant. Until the time comes, until the time of refreshing comes when Yahweh Shah shows up and delivers us, we're not in the new covenant. So what are you talking about? That's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for that time. So all you heathen that's in these churches thinking that this is for you, you've been lied to. You might as well just live it up because and it, and it's coming soon. All right, it's going to be captivity for a thousand years. Okay, and then you got people out there saying that. Well, look, other people can make it. You got people out there still can't as a bot, still can't understand how in the world can Cornelius be uh, inherited to this new promise if he's not an Israelite. You have to be of the house of Israel, and the house of Judah, not of the house of Esau. Gone. You got a preacher? No. You got that. Um uh, Jeremiah 31 yeah, and 31. Come. Behold, the days come, said Yahweh, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Keep going down. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, Said Yahweh. Yep. You want to keep going? Yeah. But this going. shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, said Yahweh, I will put my laws in their inward parts mm -hmm. and write in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. Mm -hmm. We're going to be his people. Okay? And that's over there. So all you Old, hey, all you old Testament people... That's in there too. All you people that believe that all nations can be saved, that's in both Hebrews and Jeremiah. Plain. Right. In all fact, right. go ahead and hold me Romans 9. And then you go ahead and give me that. Because again, we're talking about the scattered. We're talking about the elect. We got to get the heck out of here. We don't got time for niggas that can't get what we're talking about, man. We don't got time for you niggas, man. 
it's very apparent that there's a great separation. You ever see a race? Hey, it's like Usain Bolt, man. We're Usain Bolt, man. We're leaving y'all boys behind. Uh. Okay? You know how, the, how it goes. Most High did that. Because he's, he's leading the men that believe on, your, on his son, Yahweh Shai. Exactly. He ain't dealing with niggas that, niggas that believe in the higher Yeshia, okay, Yeshua, okay? Jesus Christ, all that, all those wicked other names, ain't no power behind that. Just like the brother Yagada was going into in all the, last night, there's a name, there's a doctrine behind the name. That's the reason why, like the brother was saying, when someone says they're in the truth, the first thing you ask them, who's your power? Who do you believe in? Because you know by the name that they believe in that there's a doctrine behind that. You know, if a brother, if a brother come out to I believe in the high, you know, he's down with GLCC and that doctrine. God. You know, if he says, oh, I'm an Israelite, I'm, I believe in the Most High in Christ, you know he's down with Nate. You know they ain't got the spirit of prophecy in them. You know they ain't looking for the time to come to an end. They ain't looking for that. Most High is looking for the elect. We keep saying it again and again. You can get offended all you want, Baloo, queen of the two-thirds. Most High is only dealing with the elect. Most High is only saving the elect on this side. That's beautiful, brother. And I say this, man, because the brother hit the key word. Yahweh Shai. This new covenant, a covenant is a contract between two parties. The Most High, his part, he said he going to put the laws in our inward part. This, this new covenant is based on new and better promises, man. It's a spiritual, it's a spiritual uh, covenant. So what is our part? Because we have a part to do. The Most High, he said he's going to put the laws in our inward part, but why? Why is it just one-third going to get it and two-thirds not going to get it at first? Mm -hmm. You know? Because this new covenant, the brother, he hit it on the head, is based on Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. All that's required of us is to have faith and believe on the name Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And having faith, we're going to come out on the highways and byways. We're going to do everything we was commanded to do. And in turn, we look for those laws to be put in our inward part. That's, that's the covenant. We got our part to do, and then the Most High is going to do his part. Just like with the Old Testament. And the Most High said, you keep my law, statutes, and commandments, and I will bless you above all nations. Mm -hmm. Which we, we fell short of that covenant because of this flesh. So now he's, he, he made a new covenant, a new testament based on better promises, or based on Yahweh Shai, built on better promises, and, and uh, Yahweh Shai, he is the key to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai is the key because he took away our sins through the blood of his sacrifice, so now all we have to do is have faith on him. So it's not on us no more, you know? It's not, it's not re relying on us you know, being in this flesh trying to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. It's just us believing, having faith in Yahweh Shai, and then in the end, we're looking to get them laws in our inward part, which is going to basically give us eternal life. Because once oh, you keep God. the law, the law is life. God. And then that's how we're going to live for that full day God. and beyond. God. Because we're not going to go off, man. See, sin corrupts and brings death. Uh, if you don't sin, you don't you don't die. Uh, right. So yeah, brother, I was just wanted to speak yeah, on that uh, because Yahweh Shai, he said it. He is the ark of this new testament or this new covenant. We had an old ark that was made by man in the old covenant, which was made out of shittim wood. But this new this new ark is Yahweh Shai. It's all spiritual, man. Uh, this thing is all spiritual. Uh, exactly. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, that's what it's, it's about. It's about Yahweh Shai. And belief on Yahweh Shai. In fact, go ahead and give me, Joe, we wanted to it last time. Go on and give me John. Oh, you, you want that Romans 9? Yeah, yeah. Give me that Romans 9 and you hold uh, you hold uh, John 3 and uh, 18. Con, this is Romans 9. Starting at verse 1. I say the truth in my siat. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from my siat, mm -hmm. for my brethren, my kinsmen, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites. No, uh, who are Edomites. Who are Israelites. Who are, no, who are Ishmaelites. Who are Israelites. Who are Hamites. Who are Israelites. Who are Japhites. Who are Israelites. Who are Israelites. That's right. To whom, oh, to whom pretended, the adoption. The adoption pertains to Israel. 
It don't, it don't pertain to anybody else. You, the adoption pertains.